Part B of this example asks us, after a long period of time on the medication, find Q, the amount of the drug present in the body right after a tablet is taken. So we want to know, you are on this anti-inflammatory drug for days and days and days, and we would like to know what happens to the med medication in your body. Does it build up? Does it increase without bound? Does it approach some value? So take a few seconds to think about that. What is your guess? Do you think the total amount of drug is going to approach some level or do you think it's going to increase forever? Let's look at this again. So we already know Q1 was 100, Q2 was 110, Q3 was 111, and Q4 was 111.1. The question, what happens after a long amount of time, really is asking for a limit. The same idea that we've seen in this class before. So Q can be expressed as the limit as n goes to infinity of Qn. Remember that Qn is the amount of medication in your body right after you take the nth tablet, and we want to know what happens as n goes to infinity. We can rewrite this limit also using summation notation, and instead of going from 0 to n, we are going from 0 to infinity, and the expression that we are investigating is 100 times 0 0.1 raised to the kth power. That is an infinite sum. An infinite sum has infinitely many terms. We can't write down all the terms, we have infinitely many, but just to get a feeling for again what this looks like, this is 100 plus 100 times 0 0.1 plus 100 times 0 0.1 squared plus 100, oops, well, let me fix that, 100 times 0 0.1 cubed, and so on, dot, dot, dot. This goes on forever. What is that value? That is a big question. And it might help to organize the values we already com have computed a little bit. So let's make a table. N, that is the tablet number. And we want to know what is Qn, the amount of the medication in the body, and the units of that were milligrams. So let's see. After one dose has been taken, it was 100. After two doses, it was 110. After three doses, it was 111. After four, we already computed that, it's 111.1. After five, if we added one more term to our sum, so 100 times 0 0.01 to the fourth, you can double check this, we get 111.1. 1, 1. And so we could continue this table 6, 7, 8, 9 and get a feeling for what happens. And it seems like from our table, if you are looking at that pattern, that Q approaches 111.1 period. So the one just keeps going on forever milligrams. That's what it looks like. So we can conclude that after a long period of time, on this medication, there will be About 111.1 period milligram of the drug in the body 
right after a tablet is taken. So again, after a long period of time on this drug, so you keep taking a 100 milligram dose every three hours over and over and over again, then you can expect that the total buildup of the drug in your body is 111.1 period milligrams.